Hi there, it's Alyssa from Domestic Heights. So I want to show you how to do faux hand lettering or faux calligraphy um, with the Cricut for those of you who are not well practiced enough to do it free freehand. Um, okay, so what, what what we want to start with here is Cricut Design Space. And I want to do this um, hand lettering on a name card and I've uploaded my set of free um, templates for name cards, floral name cards. Um, and so that's there, but you can, you can obviously write this on anything. You don't need to cut around it or anything, but um, it's always nice to be able to do the cutting with the drawing. So, so here I have uh, my name cards and um, I'm just going to ungroup here and I'm just going to delete a couple of these and I'm going to enlarge this so that it's a little bit easier to see. Um, okay, so first I want to write my text. So let's just um, pick the name I used in the example was Melissa. So you can obviously use any particular font, but a cursive, um, I mean, we're hand lettering here, so a, a cursive bouncy font is always kind of cute. Um, for hand lettering. And uh, there's a couple of those choices uh, within the Cricut Access subscription. And I want to use one today that um, you know works pretty well that has, so you can, you can filter for uh, various things here, like, you know, writing fonts. So not every font is a writing font. What writing font means is uh, it can be converted into a it can be converted into um, a, a single line. So, which is what I've done here. So um, you use the drop down fonts, drop down menu to change the actual font. And then the style wise, uh, you have to convert it to writing. Um, otherwise it creates the regular outline which is not what you want. Um, you want to change it to writing and not every font obviously has this writing style option. Okay. So then we want to make adjustments and decrease the line spacing. Uh, that's probably good enough. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to re outline this by hand. And so you just want it close enough, um, so the, the, the spacing looks natural. So if for some reason the font is styled such that spacing can't close enough, you can always ungroup and manually push everything together, but this is pretty good. Okay, so we've re reset the letter spacing and now it's in, um, now it's in writing style. Um, we've indicated that the line type is draw and it doesn't actually really matter what what you set the color to. Here, we'll just say it's black. Um, and then you want to you want to select both the text and the base graphic and attach it together so that it's writing it in the right spot. And then you just go ahead and make it. Uh, you know, make sure you insert your pin properly and you have the right blade in place. Okay, so now we've um, we've uh, printed out and and drawn our single line word on here. Now we just want to highlight the downstrokes with a thicker um, pen or marker in the same color. So I've written the original name Melissa in uh, black, and so I'm going to use a black uh, brush pen. And you just uh, so you could choose to actually trace over the single line as well if you like, but my hand lettering is not that good, so so 
I kind of have to default to cheating a little bit. Oops. Finish off the ends here. This is not the most perfect hand lettering example, but you you get kind of get the idea. So it's almost like coloring. There you go. And then afterwards you can, uh, well you might want to let it dry for a second, but then you just sort of fold it in place. Now this one's probably a little bit bigger than, than um, I would normally make it, but I just made it a little bigger to be able to show you the example.